it's not just the stuff that's happening externally in our lives that has created the need for letting go. Something is stirring within us. Something is stirring within you. I just wanted to let you know that if you let go, your situation immediately improves. Immediately. And then as you maintain this state of letting go, which I'm gonna explain to you what this means and how you can do this for yourself, when you maintain this state, things continue to get better and better. See, life is giving each of us a message. Life is always speaking to each of us. And it's always about who you are. Each tree is slightly different. And is it an interesting that in the seed of the tree, before it's even planted, the infinite intelligence, the creation of this universe, all the information and data is stored within that seed about who that tree is, what that tree is going to look like. Isn't that interesting that before it's even grown, who it is is already decided. Now, my purpose in this video is not to tell you that you don't have free will. My purpose is not to tell you that you can't make choices in your life and decide who you are. What I am trying to help you to feel and to see, which is happening in nature all around us, there's trees, there's bushes, there's fruits, there's vegetables, there's different kinds of animals. The truth is, is that if, if a tree thought that it was supposed to be a bush and spent its whole life trying to be a bush, it would never fil fulfill its purpose. It would never get the pleasure and satisfaction of being who and what it really is. It would miss out on that fulfillment. If a bush tried to be a tree, same thing. If a dog tried to be a cat, same thing. If a rock thought it was a cheese pizza, we'd have a problem. We'd have a reality that doesn't function, that doesn't operate. You see, so this is what the need for letting go is about. This is the message that life is trying to give every single one of us literally every single day. There's never a day that goes by where this is not the message that we are getting. Sometimes it's subtle. Sometimes it feels like a giant smack in the face. But I got news for you. If you've had a giant smack in the face recently in your life, I want to let you know that instead of being upset about it, you ought to be extremely grateful. Because the universe, life itself, God, source, your higher self, again, whatever you want to call it, only really shakes people when it is absolutely time for you to wake up to who you really are, that it is time to take your life to the next level. You see, you may feel like you're at a wall, like you're at some, some wall that you've arrived at in your life and it's like you can't get past it. Maybe you're trying to manifest more money or change your situation, but it just isn't working. It's like a wall you keep getting denied, pushed down, and it feels like life's against you. Maybe you're trying to cultivate a healthy relationship, but it just the same problems keep happening. You know, maybe you're just trying to find peace in your life and all this crazy crap keeps going on in the world around you, and you're just afraid for the future. Whatever it is for you, the fact of the matter is, is that these lessons, these slaps in the face, these ridiculous manifestations of what is happening around us always has to do with what's going on within us. Because if within ourselves we aren't recognizing who we are, if we're a tree, but we're still trying to be a zebra, we think we're supposed to be a zebra, there's a problem. We're gonna keep getting smacked by life repeatedly. You see what I'm saying? If you align with who you really are, if you be a tree, if you're a tree, if you be a bush, if you're a bush, if you be yourself because it's who you are, it's who you came here to be, the interesting thing is, is that life stops smacking you and actually starts rewarding you. When you be who you really are, you are rewarded by life. Now, here's the reason why the need for letting go is now bigger than ever. Because you are at a precipice in your life. And I know that you would not be here. I know that you would not have attracted this message into your reality. You wouldn't, with your valuable time, you wouldn't be here spending it with me if there wasn't some part of you recognizing, I'm supposed to be here right now. And it's because you are. Because it is now time in your life. You are at a pivotal point. You see, life is trying to give you amazing, incredible things. It's, life is trying to give you the success. Life is trying to give you the financial rewards. Life is trying to give you fulfilling, satisfying relationships. But if you're too busy trying to be someone you're not because you don't really realize who it is that you are, then you're not going to receive those things. 
You see, so life is smacking us. Life is creating this external pressure, is creating this resistance, is creating this frustration in the world around us and within ourselves because it is these kinds of emotions that tend to create a tipping point where we finally listen to life, to hear what it's saying, right? When things get really bad, that's when we tend to let go because we just can't hold on anymore. It's just too hard, right? Think about it. When things get too messed up in your life or too messed up in the world and you just finally accept and you just let go and you're like, I can't anymore. I just can't. You sit down. Strangest thing happens is all of a sudden things start improving. Wisdom begins to come to you. You start to realize that the reason it felt like you came to a wall, the reason it may feel like you're at a wall right now in your life that you can't get those things you're trying to get because you're carrying something that doesn't belong to you. You may be carrying a belief system that does not belong to your authentic self. You need to let go. You may be carrying a relationship with someone, something, perhaps a substance, perhaps some kind of addiction, perhaps some kind of habit, right? You know, you know, you know what's relevant to you. And that's the joke, right? You need to let it go. The joke is that you always know, you always know but we're very good at steamrolling over ourselves because we got plans. Our plans are based on things we want to achieve, things we want to get, things we want for ourselves in this world. But this is why we need to let go because what you want, you are pushing away from yourself. When you intensely want something, you are holding yourself separate from it. When you simply let go and you're willing to just be who you are in this moment, you're not trying to get anything else for yourself, you're not trying to change anything about external reality or any situation, you're just in a full state of acceptance of the way that things are, and you're just like, hey, it is, it just is, this is the way it is, okay. The joke is that then the money can come, then the incredible relationships can come, then the success can come, then the peace can come, then the powerful shifts in our collective reality of the system that operates that we live within, right? You know what I'm talking about. Then all of these things can change too. No change can happen outside of ourselves until we first achieve a true change within ourselves. Just think about it, honestly. Don't just take my word for it. Reflect on your life. Look back. Look back on all the things that have ever happened, and I know you'll see that this lesson, this message is woven into every experience you've ever had. And we get really good at convincing ourselves that, oh, I succeeded because I was visualizing. Oh, good things happen because I just kept going for it. I never stopped, right? Oh, good things happen because this. Oh, I made money because I made a really good product. Or, And I'm not saying these things aren't also true. But if you look, I know that you'll see that every time in your life where incredible success and greatness really was achieved, you always had to let go first. You always had to let go of your need to have what you wanted. Always. And then it comes. I know it's crazy right now. I know because you're not alone. A lot of people in the world are going through this shift right now. Me, my friends, people I know, it's clear, everybody around me, there's something stirring within all of us these days. I think it's because, if you'll allow me to say this and bear with me, I think it's because our Creator has this beautiful plan that we're all a part of. And I believe that this plan can only be fulfilled if you are willing to be who you really are. I believe it can only be fulfilled if I'm who I really am. If we stop trying to be what we think we're supposed to be. You see... This is something I've learned that has completely transformed my life and yielded incredible results to me. And that's really the truth. And I know you'll feel the resonance of that in your heart. The fact of the matter is, is that, think about it like this. You don't really want a relationship. You don't really want a girlfriend or boyfriend. What you really want is to feel love and unity, right? You want to feel like you're not alone. You want to feel like you're full of love and gratitude for your life. And you believe that that is going to come from being with a person. But really understand it's those feelings, it's that unity, that, that wholeness, that completeness, that love. It's not really a huge bank account with giant numbers in it that you want. You don't want all those paper bills in your wallet. What you really want is to feel abundant. You want to feel supported. You want to feel like life loves you. You want to feel like you're taken care of. 
right? You don't really want to achieve that success with your career or whatever it is that you're doing, right? What you really want is to feel like you're significant, like you're worthy, like you've done something that matters, like maybe because you want to feel like you're important. You get what I'm saying? It's time now in our lives more than ever to really clarify the true driving force within us, why it is that we're really moving towards the things that we've been moving towards. Because the joke is if you're moving toward a relationship or career success or peace in the world or whatever it is, but you're doing so from a lack of clarity, as in you think that a person is going to give you joy, you think that money is going to make you happy, you think that finally being an important person that people recognize is going to mean that you finally made it in this world. If you're trying to achieve things in life because of those underlying motivators and you're not consciously aware of it, life is never going to give you the rewards you're looking for because the truth is you're not ready. It's just a simple truth. If you want to get ready to be ready, then you need to start realizing that you already have things that are very abundant in your life right now, right? Food on your plate, roof over your head most likely. People in your life that you enjoy being around, you know? You got abundance. You always have what you need in the moment you need it. Sometimes it's not a moment before, not a moment after, but right when you need it. The joke is if you can appreciate that and tune into the abundance that's already here in your life, more abundance can come. Because that's our way of saying we're ready for more to life. Life doesn't give us more until we've already received what's already been given to us. You get what I'm saying? If you want a second serving on your plate at a restaurant, you have to first eat your first serving. But what most people are doing is sitting at the table with their plate already full of food, complaining that they want more. The universe is like the waiter. The universe is like the chef. They're like, well, I can't put more food on your plate until you eat what I've already given you. So you need to start looking at what has already been given to you, what you already have. Most people aren't doing that. They're just stressed or just frustrated. They let things like the news or whatever's going on in the world dictate the peace they feel in their lives. The trick isn't visualize yourself somewhere else or program yourself with a bunch of affirmations. There is no trick. All of that's just mind games happening within the mind of somebody who does not realize that right now, right here in this moment is where all the power is. There's no trick. There's no game. There's no manifestation technique. Just be here. Just be Be who you are. If you're a tree, be a tree. If you're a bush, be a bush. If you're a bush and you're busy visualizing yourself as a ninja, you see, we've got a problem. That's not how reality actually operates. It's delusional. I'm not telling you can't achieve great things in your life or have great wealth or satisfaction relationships and things like this. You absolutely can. But guess what? Life gives those things to you when you finally accept that you're a tree and you just be one. Be who you are. The media, advertisements, people around you, you may have had this toxic idea programmed into you that if you're not wearing cool shades, pulling up in a limo on a red carpet, walking down it with everybody wanting your autograph, you've failed. That is huge BS. And if you really look at the people's lives who bought into that and are walking down that red carpet, isn't it weird that like so many of them are actually so unhappy? They don't feel good about themselves. They feel like Not like they don't look good enough, so they're constantly doing plastic surgery to their faces. So many of them commit suicide and on like drugs. And I'm just trying to help you to see that what you think you want isn't really what you want. If you just be here right now in this moment, you'll see that what you really want of the authentic you, of your soul, your higher self, of God, the purpose, the plan for you, you'll see that what you really want, you actually have right now in this moment. And when you realize that, you begin to eat your food. And the joke is that once you eat your food, your plate clears. And guess what? The waiter of the universe, infinite intelligence, God, the chef, is so intelligent that they know the moment you finished eating to come and serve you more. It never ends. It's a never-ending buffet. I'm trying to help you see you can't get that next plate of food. You can't get that next step, that next level, that next stage in your life until you're willing to be here in this moment and receive what's already been given to you. You get me? Don't let go because you want to manifest results. Let go because nothing else makes sense. 
Let go because anything other than letting go is just mental insanity. Let go because you're alive. Because right now you're here in this moment and there's so much you could do with this moment. You could write, you could read, you could paint, you could walk, you could run, you could jump. You could go to the gym, you could go for a swim. You could be in the bath. You could make some food. You could call someone and tell them you love them. You could write a letter. You could do anything right now in this moment. But so many people are just want to focus on what they can't do right now. And they suffer. And they never finish eating the plate that God has given them. And so more food can not come. Let go because it's the only thing that makes sense. Anything other than letting go is just crazy. And that's just the truth. Be here now in this moment and you will discover that what it means to be authentic is actually very, very, very simple. Being authentic is just be. You don't have to try to be who you are. You already are them, right? I'm already right here. I don't have to spend my whole life looking for myself. Am I over there? Am I over here? You see how that doesn't make sense? You're, you are the one that is looking. You're right here right now in this moment. Do you see the irony of this? Do you see the delusion in the way that so many people are living their lives? And I don't mean it in a mean way. I'm only saying this because the last four to five years of my life, <laughs> I have dove so deep into trying to understand how to create success for myself. And the message has always been right there, right in front of me. But I don't always see it because most of the time our heads are so far up our butt trying to achieve something or trying to get more that we miss what we already have. And anytime I finally let go, I finally am like, okay, universe, I'm sorry for being such an idiot for like months straight. And I just appreciate what I have right now in this moment. I eat my food. Boom. The next serving comes in. That's the joke. And the next serving is always better and better and better and better. But it doesn't come to us by seeing what we have right now is not good enough. It comes to us by seeing that what we have right now is exactly what we're meant to have because it's part of our life journey, period. Now, just in case you're interested, I've got a summer sale going on on all my courses, recordings of live transformation events I've done in the past. And I'm just letting you know, the code is SUMMER in all caps, 30% off everything if you just put that code in at checkout. You can find the links for that in the description of this video. If that is something that calls to you, understand that if it doesn't, you don't need that. Letting go is not something anybody can teach you. I want to make this very clear so that I make sure I'm telling you the truth in this video. Letting go is not something that you need someone to teach you. It's not something you need to buy in somebody's course. It's the opposite. It's something that you have right now in this moment. But I do have some pretty powerful courses with a lot of great information. So you can find those below. And I also want to let you know that I've got all these playlists of free content structured on my YouTube channel designed to help you to find exactly what you're looking for for creating transformation in specific areas of your life, like soulmate relationships, like finances, right? Like career success, timeline shifting, manifestation abundance. We go deep on this channel. So thank you for liking this video, subscribing, and sharing it with a friend you know this message is absolutely meant for. And I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks. Much love to you. See you soon.